Hi, I'm Scott Vaughn, and this is a video about teaching math and physics with Kerbal Space Program. Maybe it's a little bit like teaching with this Rubik's Cube that's been sitting on the shelf behind me. You don't really have to know all the math that's involved to have a lot of fun with this and to be good at it, but put it in the hands of a math teacher and look out, because I can talk for hours about all the beautiful patterns that are involved with the cube and also all of the real-life applications that relate to this. So in this video, I will talk about how I've used Kerbal Space Program to add things into my math classes and how I created an entire course inspired by Kerbal Space Program to introduce math and physics principles in STEM fields. I teach math at a community college in Pennsylvania, and I've taught for more than 20 years, and I know there are a lot of great educational games out there, but Kerbal Space Program is the first game that is really connected with me as a way to teach and learn math. This game is truly something special. It's the combination of an expansive 3D solar system that follows the laws of physics, actually as they are written in our high school and college math and physics textbooks, simplified from real life to just those textbook principles, but also the fun and creativity it promotes with the opportunity to design your own vehicles and missions, and just the whole universe that it opens up and creates. It invites creativity and exploration. It, there isn't some numerical high score that you're trying to achieve in KSP. You make your own goals. KSP is STEM all in one place, actually STEAM. It's science and technology, engineering, art, and math. The topics of rocket science and astronomy and supersonic jets, any type of airplane, all of aerospace, I think we can all connect to the excitement, challenge, adventure, risk, and the magic and mystery that is flight and outer space and the exploration of the unknown. But for me personally, as a college student, it was math itself that seemed to be the way to find answers to life, the universe, and everything. Teaching math for me is still a way to search for those answers. So for me, how does KSP fit into teaching math? I'll start with a few general points and then give some specific examples of how I've used the game to teach math, and then I'll talk about a course that I created and taught in the fall of 2020 and spring 2021 that was about introducing math and physics principles and careers in STEM using Kerbal Space Program. So first, the whole reason calculus was discovered was to understand the motion of objects in a gravity field. And Newton discovered those principles, by the way, as a college student during a pandemic. And understanding these same principles is what students are challenged to do when they play KSP. Calculus is universal, literally applying throughout the universe, and KSP provides us with a virtual lab in which to both illustrate and test our understanding of those principles. KSP is like another example in the math class. After the general equations of motion are explained, those equations apply throughout the universe and they contain variables. You can substitute other values, like the mass of any other planet or moon, not just the Earth or our moon or the planets in our solar system. And that leads to another point. KSP can be used as a virtual lab and graphing calculator for math and physics beyond just the topics of calculus. With KSP, students aren't just answering a static question on a worksheet and then checking the answer in the back of the book or Googling it online, or passively watching a video, they're engaged in discovering and learning by doing. And with KSP, we can discover and illustrate many universal math principles, just like we do with a graphing calculator as we vary the input parameters. Illustrating universal principles with a variety of examples is important. I love the pure logic of mathematics on its own. Math is itself a whole universe of patterns, both real and unreal. And in the math class, ultimately, I'm teaching students to think deductively. Even deduction itself is both universal principle and practical tool. And to the extent math education is about teaching practical tools for solving problems, to really understand those tools, you've got to see how they're used. I'm not saying a game should replace traditional math lectures and exams. Structured learning in the classroom with an experienced professor is essential. 
and exams set expectations and focus us all on the key points we should know and test what we individually can bring to the table. But we all know that what a student demonstrates on an exam is not a complete measure of everything that is learned in the class. And I think we can make room to explore ways in which learning works best and what motivates learning and add that to the classroom experience. And math lectures and exams often create an impression there is only one right answer. Students can feel personally judged if they get something wrong, creating anxiety and self-doubt, which interferes with learning. In KSP, students can be creative and find their own path and their own discoveries. And getting things wrong is completely expected and totally accepted as part of that process. Of course, it's part of the game. Just revert to launch or the VAB and try again. That's a comment I don't write at the top of the student's exam. But in KSP, after a disastrous failure, respawn, start again. We know creative ideas are found through play without the pressure of one right answer, and an A on an exam is not the only reward that motivates learning. Also, the whole tradition of math lectures and exams has been shaken by the pandemic and fully online instruction. In the wake of that experience, there's an opportunity and a reason to experiment with what works outside of the classroom to support learning math and particularly in ways that use technology resources that we have now and didn't have in the past. In the past, it was always a joke in the math class about, you know, considering a field trip. There never seemed to be any viable answers for a math class field trip. Could KSP work like a field trip for the math class? Maybe. Compared to most field trips, KSP is pretty inexpensive, and students can stick with the group or find their own path. It's okay if they get lost, and it's fine if they blow stuff up. So now, let's look at some examples of teaching math with Kerbal Space Program. Download velocity data for a launch and find a line of best fit to estimate acceleration. There are lessons here for a beginning algebra class, calculus one class, and also for students in differential equations. Calculate orbital speed at different altitudes above Earth, the Moon, Mars, any planet. Again, there is a level that is introductory algebra, and there are also lessons here in the calculus of parametric equations that are used to derive that algebraic formula. For an algebra lesson, use orbit parameters to determine the mass of a planet, moon, or the sun. Teach the properties of log functions by illustrating Kepler's third law with an example other than our own solar system. Want some lovely algebra of radicals with the rational expressions? How about this? This is the algebra needed to compute the speed for reaching the moon or Mars or Jupiter or any planet or moon, both in real life and in KSP. Years ago, teaching students to graph a hyperbola, I didn't really understand how hyperbolas specifically fit into orbital mechanics. I didn't know hyperbolic excess velocity is calculated as part of a trip to Mars. Now I do, and it's because of KSP. Hyperbolas became a lot more interesting for me, and that adds to how I teach that lesson. So now we have the reason and a means for a class field trip to Mars. Okay, Duna in KSP. But the math is the same. Find the slope of the tangent to an elliptical flight path and compute the point of maximum flight path angle. These are beautiful calculus lessons that a student can experience as well, directly engage with in KSP. Teach spherical geometry and the principles of great circle and rum line paths. The derivation of the rum line heading is both a calculus and differential equations lesson, and there are lessons in properties of the inverse tangent, trig identities, and the algebra of vectors, and the topic of navigation. Teach principles of the inverse sine with the relationship between orbit inclination, launch azimuth, and latitude. How about Newton's method? Why bother even learning it? That was the underlying mood I could sometimes feel in the classroom when I instantly solved, on a computer or calculator, the same questions that I had done by hand with Newton's method. Orbital mechanics, Kepler's equation, gives us a real-life question about the motion of planets, moons, and satellites that requires a numerical method to answer. 
This provides a meaningful and historically significant reason why Newton's method exists and why it's programmed into the computer and calculator. This is a lesson in a numerical tool of why that tool exists and how it's used and how it's adapted into modern technology and used for modern technology. I know it's a lot to suggest adding anything to a math class, and this is not for every class and every student. As an optional project, this could be a meaningful learning experience for some students, and the teacher and the rest of the class could learn from any student presentations. And the material here could be perfect for a math, physics, or engineering club, or perhaps a summer enrichment activity. And that brings me to the last part of this video. Along with this gift that this game has been for me to spur so much learning for both me and my students, I've also recently had the opportunity to design and teach a class devoted specifically to introducing math and physics principles and careers in STEM using Kerbal Space Program. The class that I created was the MAT-199 NASA KSP Math and Physics Lab, and it was made possible with a grant from the NASA Pennsylvania Space Grant Consortium and also with support from Montgomery County Community College where I teach. The class was fully online and was both a lecture and discussion and lab class where KSP was our virtual lab. The course was offered in fall 2020 and spring 2021 and introduced math and physics principles useful for students in any STEM field it was offered at a beginning college level to both students already in STEM and students that were in other fields as a way to promote STEM, to prepare students that were on the STEM track for those topics that they would encounter later in other STEM courses, and to promote math and physics literacy generally for students regardless of what their academic or career path might be. All of this at an early point in their college career so they could explore potential academic and career paths for themselves. And we had the opportunity to hear from some amazing guest speakers whose expertise, experience, and talents added so much to the class. I've already made a, vid a video that describes the fall 2020 class, and the spring 2021 class was just as fun and rewarding. And here are some highlights from the spring semester. First, thank you to Private Division for arranging this and then to both Marco and Jay, both KSP developers, for spending time again this semester talking to my class. Marco and Jay met with the class again via Zoom and talked about working as game developers, careers in game development, and the mathematics used in programming games. How amazing this was for me and my students, meeting two people who actually worked on developing KSP. What a gift! First, the game that they've developed, and the learning that it continues to promote, and the insight and inspiration we gained from their visit. Thank you, both, to Private Division Marco and Jay. Next, we heard from Cody Short, an astrodynamics software engineer at Analytic Graphics Incorporated, whose company analyzes spacecraft trajectories and orbits, and whose work is used by NASA and private space companies in mission planning and analysis. He talked to us about the mathematics of modeling orbits and the work of an astrodynamics engineer and the path he followed to that career and how others could do the same. Thank you, Cody, for the fascinating tour of your work. It was brilliant. And we heard from Nick Cyberlick, a former Monco student who has since graduated and is now a full-time professional engineer. Nick currently works on developing equipment that is part of the supply chain for the coronavirus vaccine. So he clearly has important work to do, saving all of humanity, but like some kind of Superman, he took some time out to talk with my students about a project that he'd worked on as a student. It was a presentation he gave on control systems and the mathematics required to design them and how they're found in so many everyday items like toasters and washing machines and the cruise control on the car and in rocket navigation and in the Ingenuity helicopter on Mars. It was a fascinating presentation on the real-life applications of mathematics in engineering that students would see in classes from algebra through differential equations. Thank you again, Nick, for sharing your time and expertise. Finally, I really hit the lottery with this class because Scott Manley came back to talk again 
in the spring semester, and this time the topic was hyperbolic trajectories and escape velocity, the vis viva equation, and some of the math involved in the storyline for the Netflix movie Stowaway, for which he had been a consultant. I told Scott he was like the mathematician Euler, master of us all, when it comes to KSP. I'm not sure if he liked that or not. He said, don't use Euler's method to predict orbits. So I made a note of that. The whole KSP community has learned from Scott. All of Kerbal Kind is et eternally indebted. Thank you, Scott, for teaching us all how to fly safe. It was truly a unique opportunity to teach a math class at a community college that was inspired by and made use of Kerbal Space Program. Thank you, Private Division, Marco, Jay, Cody, Nick, Scott Manley. You all created such a positive learning experience for the students at Montgomery County Community College, and all in spite of the challenges we faced during the pandemic. Your time and energy invested in this project inspired many students and will continue to inspire many more. So I'll end here for now. Thank you for watching. And thank you for your interest in teaching and learning with math with KSP. And congratulations to Private Division and Squad for the success of this game, for how much it's grown over the last 10 years to such an amazing and inspiring achievement. A game that has educated and inspired so many people all around the world. Cheers. Here's to a grand and brilliant success and many great new adventures with KSB2.